Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I thought I'd do a little what's on my iPhone video, or iPod Touch video, um, just because it seems to be going around and a lot of you guys are interested on in what I actually have on my device. So, on my first page, as you can see, I, you guys know what videos are. I have calendar, photos, score center is what I use to keep track of, actually it just updated, but score center is what I keep to keep track of all my sports with, all my games, all my favorite teams. YouTube, I actually use the web app not the native app as I think it's a lot faster and easier to use stocks you know what that is maps you know what that is the weather channel I actually use instead of the weather app as I think it's a lot more full featured and again guys if you want a review of any of these just leave a comment or send me a message notes you know what that is utilities I have clock calculator voice memos dashboard which I actually have a video on which will be in an annotation right now and in the description if you want to check that out um, just go check out my previous video and contacts you know what that is settings you know what that is Mebo is actually my main instant messaging client it's pretty cool I did a video review of this as well but it is an all-in-one messenger you can use Facebook aim um, Google chat whatever you can think of basically so that's pretty cool Facebook I use every day um, you know what that is. Simple Sense is an AdSense client, which is where I check how much money I'm making off of YouTube and my website, etc. So that's how I check that. Mobile RSS, that's how I get my news. That's where I get a lot of my topics for my videos from Google News and other websites that I comment on. And um, yeah, it's a good RSS client. You should check it out. Twitter, um, the official Twitter app is my Twitter client of choice for my iPod Touch. Um, music, you know what that is. Mail, you know what that is. Safari, you know what that is. And stores, obviously, iTunes, App Store, Cydia, and Open App Market. Next, YouTube app, weather app, AIM Free. Um, that's just another AIM client that I use every once in a while. Apple Store, you guys know what that is. I did buy Beehive IM, but I found I'm using it less and less for some reason. But, uh, yeah, I do have it. Bloons TD, cool little game. Cloud Browse, another cool little game. Uh, or not a game, it's a web browser actually. I did have a review on this on how to get Flash on your device. So that's cool. Crash Cart and Chromag, both racing games. Cool games, check them out. Dodgeball, another cool game. Downlight, this is actually an app that you can download any file off of the web onto your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So that's pretty cool, I use that. Dropbox, obviously, to upload and download onto my iPod Touch from my computer without actually transferring it. It's over the internet. Um, you could check it out too. Enigma, another cool game that came out when the iPod Touch first got the App Store. Field Runners, a great game. Firefox Home is actually not the full Firefox, but it is an app that just syncs with your desktop computer that you can actually look at your bookmarks, etc., open tabs, so that's cool. Fring, I had a video review of this. It is an app that you can actually chat, all in one chat. It is Facebook, um, video chat, and other Skype, for example. So that's another cool app. You should check it out. Google Earth, you know what that is. Google Voice, you know what that is. Um, I'm going to have to cut out some of these games because this video is running a little over. Um, Heavy Gunner, just cool game. Hellcat, a cool game. Hulu Plus, I had a video on this. You can check it out. It's essentially Hulu for all iDevices i to i chat it's like the blackberry messenger of all i devices i books which is apple's i book store i call i had a video on this as well you can call people from your device i gizmos get widgets on the ipad iphone ipod touch i sync you battleship for iphone ipod touch or ipad justin.tv it's a it's kind of an app that you can actually um... stream videos straight to your device and so you should check it out um, it's pretty cool. Let's Golf, um, a golfing game, obviously. Lineup 2 is similar to Tetris, or it's like Blocker. You just tap the blocks and get them out. It's a game. MapQuest, obviously MapQuest. Um, Marble West, another game. Windows Live Messenger, obviously Windows Live Messenger. Monkey Ball, Nike and iPad. Ninjump, Opera Mini, Pandora privately, private browsing on the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, remote, Apple's remote, Skype, obvious, Spawn Glow is kind of a cool app that you can just 
create backgrounds and wallpapers in using little uh, moving things. So it's pretty cool. Stanza, uh, an ebook reader, uh, street ball, basketball game, strike night, bowling game, all the tap tap revenges. Text free and text now. I have had app reviews on this, so they're pretty cool. The Simpsons game, Tilt to Live game, Tetris game, or Trees, which is no longer in the App Store actually. Twitterific, extra Twitter client. Type to talk, you can make your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad talk using a robot voice. Vivo is an music video app, so that's pretty cool. Winterboard for theming my device. Zombie attack game and display recorder for displaying or recording the display of my device. And then obviously there's Spotlight. And yeah, that's what's on my iPod Touch 3G, guys. Um, I got this back in September. If there's any app. If there's any app that you want me to review, leave a comment or send me a message. Also, stay tuned for future videos as I will have a video when the new iPods are released. And if this video helped you out in any way or if you enjoyed it, just please rate a thumbs up and please subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And follow me on Twitter and visit my website in the description. And I'll catch you in the next vid, guys. Peace.